All right, guys. Now, for Newton's uh, second law over here, because in your chapter 2, remember, again, I repeat, the most uh, important things are the three things that you need to understand for Newton's law. Inertia, forces, and every action has an equal but opposite reaction. Now, for Newton's second law. Now, Newton's second law over here talks about the concept of forces. All right. Now, forces is given to us as over here, F equals to M A. Now, the thing that you need to understand, guys, this is my own arrangement of the topic. Eh? You have your formula F equals to M A, but it's the A that most of the students get confused on. Now, your A over here, I'm going to divide it over here into two parts. Okay, guys. Now, number one, is what we call over here given acceleration okay now given acceleration we call it over here a forced acceleration where the value of the acceleration is actually given and another one is what we call over here free fall okay now i'm going to explain to you the uh, concept of free fall over here now free fall technically means this guys huh? Over here, when you take, uh, now as you guys are sitting down and, you know, watching this video over here, now if you take a pencil and you drop the pencil, now, you don't uh, throw the pencil down like that, you just hold the pencil up and you drop the pencil down. Now, so some, something like this, we are holding this pencil, dropping it down like that. Now, what happens over here is, the moment your pencil drops over here, your pencil falls down, at what we call over here gravitational acceleration now for an example over here the value or the common value over here let's just put it this way the gravitational force okay guys the word gravitational force huh? gravitational force over here is given to us as 10 newtons per kilogram okay this is what we call gravitational force now if it is gravitational acceleration, okay? Now, gravitational acceleration is the same thing, just that the unit over here changes. Like, you can see this one is newtons per kilogram, isn't it, guys? Gravitational acceleration will be 10 ms negative 2. This is over here, gravitational acceleration, all right? That means the value for A can be substituted over here as 10. 